I am Patricia Ann Glenn Burnley, and my husband, Bob, started a deli business in our home backyard in the garage. It came with the Stroman's Bakery, where we made cans of topping for the sick buns and delivered to them every, every month. And uh, then we made uh, gallons of jelly for the restaurants all around. The building itself had to grow quite a bit. And uh, the employees we hired, oh, up to a dozen Amish girls, had to pick them up each day, take them home. People coming to visit us heard about us, and they wanted to buy 10 ounce jars or two ounce jars. And so we had to convert to uh, making all 10 or 15 flavors of our two ounce jars. We knew they were coming to watch the Amish girls work, and that was good as long as we made sure they were not exploited. Bob uh, met a lot of men with small buses that would come around and stop to see them work. And that grew into larger buses, more and more larger buses all the time. We had our own retail shop and we served free coffee to everyone. And then we opened a small cafeteria and served uh, light lunch there. And then a local florist put a flower shop there. Well, we just kept going to the bank, getting more money and building more buildings. And uh, 10 years later, he was, Bob was in the front page of the paper, stirring jelly, saying it was a complete success. <laughs> then the next generation came along. Mike was running all the real estate and the jelly business. Joanne did everything else. Jim was so of a name. He said, okay, uh, I'll come down for five years. So that was 35 years ago. <laughs> He's still running eight shops in the village. <laughs> we hope they enjoy all the foods and uh, the view. The view from all directions is beautiful. It really is. It's uh, country living as its best. We had a teacher who brought her school uh, first graders and gave them a tour of the village. And uh, many of those girls are now work working for us <laughs> all over the world. Really amazing. Well, I, I just believed it would happen if we did it. <laughs>